Hello and welcome back everybody to the Human Reignition Project. A game that teaches you valuable lessons like stealing shit is okay when your boss is a douche and taking drugs while listening to some sort of political discussion is a very good idea. Well, okay, at least the last thing isn't actually true, but still. So, we just found Kyo, and now we're sending him back to the shop. I don't know if we're going to go with him, but we'll see about that. So, what was all of the all that about anyway? I wasn't uh, paying much attention. You have met Setsuna before. Not her, moron. The meeting. Oh yeah, that... I don't know. Setsuna and I found some flyers behind his desk. Apparently he's going to do this again. Is that why you took so long? What were you even looking for? That incentive he was talking about. I guess the flyers were it. What a cheapskate. Glad we know it was a waste of time now. Not feeling another lecture? I couldn't even figure out what he was trying to say. That is probably more on your part though, Ken. I don't know. I'd give him one more chance. Maybe just one more lecture. You do that. Just not on my day off. Fine, fine. Not on your day off. Got it. Outside the store, I can practically feel boss's rage. Kyotao hesitates at the door, looking like he wants to run for cover. Instead, he straightens up, takes a deep breath and walks inside. I enter behind him, expecting Boss to explode. He's standing in the middle of the store. Whoops, sorry. When we stepped in, his eyes lock onto mine, as if Kyotaro weren't even here. Sorry, I hit my foot against my desk. Now I don't know if that showed up in the recording. Hopefully not. Where was he? I swallow, trying to keep my voice steady. He <laughs> he he went downtown, to the convention center. Jesus, couldn't you... Couldn't you say he overslept? Jesus! Couldn't you invent a better excuse for your friend? Downtown. Do you have any idea how late you are? I was here earlier, I just... You weren't. I came in an hour after your shift was supposed to start. Know what I found? An empty goddamn store is what I found. You were supposed to open today. Here it comes. Do you think you can just skip a day of work when you were supposed to open up the goddamn store? I was going to... You were the only one, you moron. We were planning to come back or screw off downtown all day long. Kyotaro takes a deep breath. I I'm sorry. This is my fault. Good, Kyotaro. Accept responsibility and move on. But I didn't plan on staying out the whole... No, no, I know you didn't. That would have been stupid. Almost as stupid as leaving the entire store closed and unattended when you were supposed to be doing inventory. Sir? What? Oh boy. I really don't want him to redirect his anger to me, as painful as it is to see Kyotaro suffering. I think it might be a good idea to give Kyotaro another chance. I think he understands he can't just skip work without telling anyone. Boss pauses. After a lengthy silence, he lets out a low growl. Damn it all. You're lucky you work here, you know that? Anywhere else, you'd be gone. In fact, you should be. That is actually true. <laughs> that is actually true. Sir, I'm, I'm sorry. It was a stupid thing to do. I'll take over. Don't bother, your shift is almost over. I did inventory. What? There was no one else to take your shift, so I had to do it myself. I don't want this to happen again. Not even one more time. Yes, sir. Boss sighs and shakes his head. I have to stop myself from looking at Kyo. Is Boss letting him off? Look, to tell you the truth, you remind me of myself when I was young. I was always running around doing stupid shit like this too. But you don't screw around when people are depending on you. True that. This is really stupid, by the way. Like, 
That would never happen in real life. I want to see this boss. I mean, look at... He, he even forgives him. And as thank you, Taro steals his shit. That's what I call loyalty. Your job is here, and you need to be right here doing your job when I tell you to. Uh, yeah, yeah, I understand, boss. What should I do then? Uh, what should I do then? Nothing. Just go home. I'll finish up. Uh, okay, I'll do that. I'm sorry again. Kyotaro heads towards the doors. They slide open before him. A few seconds after he is gone, boss turns to me. Ken. He glares at me, a strange look of concern in his eyes. Come here for a sec. Is something the matter, boss? You better believe something is the matter. You and I both know Kyotaro, and he doesn't usually skip work. He is stupid, but he is not that stupid. I'm not sure I follow. You said you knew how to find him, but he didn't even have his phone. And what is this about the convention center? Uh... Look, I'm not blaming you. You're off work. You can do what you want. It's not like you knew he was going to skip. Because if you did, you'd be in just as much trouble. What was so fascinating it made him do something so moronic? Okay, uh, well, like I said, he was at the convention center. Why? Because, uh, a friend of ours told him she wanted to check something out there. He risked losing his job to go on a date with his crush. I guess so, that is what it looks like. Is that it then? What were they doing? I don't think it's anything th as fascinating as you're thinking. Surprise me. Tech symposium? I'm not sure that's it. What? One of those things th where they show off new gadgets? Nah, that would be more like a car show or something. This was just some wacko talking about technology. At least a gadget show I would understand. Not on the drugs you were on, my friend. You are the worst. Really, way to make me hate the main character. He's judgmental, he's running around tripping balls all day long. What the fuck? What is wrong with this boy? I mean, he's probably not a boy anymore, but still. He worked, skipped work to listen to a guy talk? That doesn't sound much like Yotaro, crush or not. Yeah, I know what you mean. And what was she doing there? Is she a techie? I don't think so. I don't really know her. What was the guy talking about then? I don't remember much. I was, uh, trying to find Kyotaro. Something about technology's effect on society? Something about how technology makes people robots. Ah, haven't heard anything like that in a few years. Do you think Kyotaro's going to go to another one of these things? Is he, like, uh, trying... Why, does, why is he so interested in all of that? Is he, like, trying to uh, gather information? Is it, like, I don't know, a bad thing if people are in these circles? On the other hand, this happened in a convention center. I doubt it would happen in a convention center if this was, like, he, uh, you know, all, like, uh, I don't know, the secret service is after you if you are in the circles of these people. You know what I mean? Still, it's strange that he is that interested into it. Well, I don't know. I don't know if there's going to be another one. Kyotaro found some flyers, but I don't know a lot of people were leaving the same time we were. Boss is quiet again. Look, can you do me a favor? I know I've already asked a lot of you. I want you to check on Kyotaro. Find out what he's really up to. I'm not sure I follow. I want you to find out if he's going to another one of these, and let me know what happens. You want me to spy on him? Don't be so melodramatic, Ken. I just want to make sure he isn't going to skip again. If it looks like he is, then I can put a stop to it. I don't want to fire him. You don't want him to get fired either, do you? This is strange. Something is not right. No, but... Thanks, Ken. I'm glad one of you boys has a sense of responsibility. Now get out of here, it's your day off. I sip my cup of Ambrosy Dome. You should really look for a different hobby. Keeping the liquid away from my taste buds. 
I don't want it, but it's habitual to make some when I get home from work. Aha. Uh -huh. That is always a bad sign, my friend. That is always a bad sign. You should see a doctor or something. Now I'm lounging on the couch, swirling the cup in one hand. Taking so much this morning was dangerous. It's only legal because nobody knows about it yet. So this random girl in the convention center knows about it, but except for her nobody does? What? Aha, aha, aha. Well then, Kyotaro is definitely paying me back for today. Buying me Chinese for a month or something. I should have spoken about the spying. Boss is going to make it tough to back out of it now. Still, nothing is forcing me to tell him everything. I can tell him the generalities while, while withholding anything that makes Kyo look bad. Ah, uh, well, at least you have a good idea there. Though if I'm reporting his movements, I'll need to actually know them. Grumbling, I toss my cup aside, fall flat on my back and gaze up the ceiling. I might get to skip work a few times, but there is no mystery here. Kyotaro skipped work to see Setsuna. Even if he denies it, he's totally into her. Actually, that could be the easiest way around this. If Kyo is skipped to see Setsuna, then he'll only go to another talk if she does too. Flipping out my, buffered my battered phone, I navigate the sparse list of numbers on my contact display. Nested there is Setsuna's number. I pause. Would it be weird to ask her if she's going again? We only just met. Oh, a decision. Ado uno momento, then I make Lu safe. I mix up all the accents all the time. Alright. Uh, let's see. I don't think... Why Why would he text Kyo? I mean... If, if he wants to know something useful from Kyo, he can ask him anytime, right? So this is not really helpful. On the other hand, I if I text her, maybe this is misunderstood, you know? And I really want to be the, the woman-stealing asshole. I mean, and I don't mean that in any sexist kind of form. A woman belongs to nobody, as well as men don't belong to anybody. But, uh, still, it could come off wrong. Ah, oh, well, text her. I guess this gets us information rather than texting Q. She is pretty friendly. I doubt she'll mind. Is the tech guy holding another lecture? I leap up at a burst of sound from underneath me. My phone has slipped from my pocket and is demanding attention. I can't remember the last time I got a call from someone other than Kyo or Boss. Why didn't she just text me? I guess it won't answer itself. Um, Setsuna? Hey Ken, what's up? Well, the message said it all, really. Oh, I didn't read that. Thought I'd call to see what you needed. Oh, great. I should have just texted Kyo. I was wondering if there was going to be another one of these lectures with that tech guy. Oh, did you fall for the charms of, of the big bad homeless scam artist? Heh, <laughs> well you know, things happen. You're so easily swayed, Ken. Anyone could take advantage of you. Like a paranoid boy is insisting I stalk your co-worker. But yeah, Kojo said he wanted to make these little get-togethers a regular thing. I'm surprised he hasn't ridden into the sunset with everyone's money by now. Do, 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 do. I'm listening to music. I'm not even angry anymore. Da, 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 da. Near the end, he told the handful of us who stuck around that there'll be another one of this weekend. Are you going? I don't know. He seems like he's lonely and just wants some company. Is that a no? It sounds like a no. But it wouldn't hurt to go one more time. Damn. I thought you only went to make a scene. Th that was only if I knew Kyo was gonna be there. He threw off my entire game plan when he showed up. Uh huh. Besides, that other girl kinda took my thunder. I just wasn't feeling it after that. The girl is full of it. Hey, actually she is. At least he's right there. You're still working at the convenience store, right? Boss didn't fire us, if that is what you mean. 
Nah, I just thought if you want to see what's up, I can show you after you get off work. I figured Kyo would want to go together, but I haven't heard of him yet. So he probably will be going. Guess I don't have much choice. You know where it is? No, Ken. I'm going to lead you to an abandoned warehouse so I can muck you. Uh-huh. What time? Early evening. Alright, in front of the convenience store for 5.30. Sure, see ya then. This is actually not what I wanted to happen. People, you know that. I did not want that. That happened. Without any of my will. She hangs up before I have a chance to respond. Bye. The only problem is that I don't have a shift then. Going with it was easier than correcting her. So, not to worry. I'll just get there a little early and she won't even realize. It's only much later that I realize she could have just sent the directions over the phone. The week passes by, passes by without incident. It's quiet down at the store. Some sap is manning the counter with his eyes on Kurt and his hat in his hands. For once it isn't me. Boss only ever schedules me with Kyotaro, so I don't have any other of the stuff. Uh, staff stuff. But watching this guy while I wait for Setsuna, I feel I understand him. Turning away, I pick up a rock and throw it at a bin across the street. It misses. Yo! Startled, I spin around. It's all in the wrist, you know. You snuck up on me. No, you just weren't paying attention. You ready to go? It's a bit of a walk. Where are we going? The university, if the info checks out. Hey, you wanna take a cab? That's far enough away. You mean, I don't have to run? No offense, but you don't strike me as the run type. I can live with that. Great! I hope you're not high this time. So, uh, how do you call a cab? Don't you just call the company? It's got to be a website, let me check. Search cab companies. A list of names opens on my contact, with a number and price listed beside me. Uh, beside each. Jesus, I am reading bullshit today again. I take out my phone and call the cheapest. Mm, uh, that is not always the best idea. You know, taxis are a little, you know... I mean, I'm not, I'm not one of these people who say, you know, the most expensive is always the best. Because that's usually not true. Actually, it's most of the time not true. Usually the most expensive is the one with the biggest name to it. That doesn't mean it is the best. But the cheapest is of not a good idea as well. In all of whatever you are buying. And I think also with taxis and stuff like that. Welcome to Best Cab. By using this service you agree that we have the right to access your GPS location. For cab distribution, press 1. To speak to an operator, press 9. 1. Dispatching a cab. Please remain near your present location. So? Dispatching a cab. Please remain where you are. I parrot back the recording's words, half asking a robotic voice. Oh. Well, I didn't try hard. Setsuna chuckles unenthusiastically. How long? About five minutes. She shrugs and leans back against the wall of the store. I mimic her, a couple of meters away. Hey, you usually work with Kyo, right? Yeah, usually. Why does he have today off and you don't? Uh-oh. That's because I told boss I would train the new guy today. Don't look now, but the guy in there is totally lost. And not toward the window. Don't take this the wrong way, but why you? Oh, I didn't want to do it, but he was awful. Boss said he needed me, he needed help as soon as possible. He was having fits with the register earlier. Couldn't even get this thing open. Wait, wait a minute, I don't understand. Why are we going with her there? If Kyotaro isn't with her? Like what? Did I miss something? I, I have the feeling I missed something. Or this doesn't make any sense, one or the other. I mean, both is possible. I'm pretty stupid, but at this point, uh, I think also this game uh, can be a bit stupid at points. Well, let's assume it was me, because uh, normally it's me. Even when I complain that something is stupid, it's usually me, so there you go. 
And don't even get me started on the restocking. That was rough. Oh wow, you think he's alright with you leaving? Oh absolutely, he's a slow learner, but he's got it now. Setsuna's face light us up, lights up. Hey, I got it, let's test him. What? Yeah, let's see if he can hold his own for an actual customer. But he already knows what I look like. Don't you worry. I'll go in and buy something small. No big deal. Then you come in and let him know he did good. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> that, that did not work out well with your lying, my friend. He feels so proud of himself. I really don't want to make any more trouble for him. I desperately glance down the street, but there's a terrifying absence of a cap. I'll give you a sign from inside when it's time. Uh, okay. She boldly walks in, picks something off a shelf and hands it to the clerk. I can't hear the conversation, but it looks like it's proceeding normally. Now she's beckoning me inside. You've got this, Ken. <laughs> Congratulations, you did good, kid. Unlucky clerk. Uh, thanks? Well, I'll tell him, Ken. Uh, you did good, buddy. Keep it up, and you'll make it big one day. Do I know you? Setsuna's brow furrows. Then her face brightens. Hey, it's fine. You don't have to act like you don't know each other. I'm in on it, too. Go ahead and accept your praise. You've earned it. I have never seen this man before in my life. Setsuna turns to me for an explanation. He's blind. <laughs> Setsuna's eyes widen in surprise. She's a bit very naive. What have I done? I, uh, didn't want to say anything, but he took this job in spite of his disability to feed his starving family. I'm sorry. I know I promised not to tell. What are you talking about? You shouldn't hide it. You're, uh, um, a hero? Sure. I bow deeply, but not before giving him a telling wink. Come on, take the hint. You would have picked up on this ages ago. I really don't want to be treated like a hero. Oh, you humble. Modest human being. Someone just kill me already. Just what the... You could really work with him a little bit at least. I hack out a series of cuffs to drown him out. Well, we should be going now. Thank you for your time, you brave soul. You're crazy. And is that your cap? It's sitting in the street outside. Now's my chance. Why, yes. Yes, it is. Oh, uh, now at least it's obvious that he isn't blind. Oh well. Let's go, Setsuna. We've wasted enough of this, uh, inspiration. Whatever, let's just get out of here. She's still questioning the clerk, but I grab her arm and practically drag her out the door. So she didn't realize this with the uh, he can see? Or uh, maybe she will now. We squeeze into the front seats of the cab. It's cramped, but what it lacks in comfort, it makes up in value. Honestly, I can barely move. Setsuna's obviously getting the worst end of the deal. I want to apologize, but she doesn't give me the opportunity. It was my idea, so it's only fair if I cover the charge. Jesus. I guess she doesn't mind the discomfort. You don't have to do that. Nah, it's no problem. Besides, if you feel bad about it, you can always make it up to me later. I would argue, but Setsuna's already playing around with the destination settings. Oh, so the car drive itself, I guess. But if that is really the case, we see next episode. Also, let's see how he betrays his good friend Kyo. Yay! Once again, I, I want to I want to underline, uh, mark that in your books, people. I did not want to do that. That happened because I texted her. Who in the hell could have known that? Well, I mean, you could expect it at game wise, but in real life, this isn't what comes out of stuff like that. Uh, I feel like a traitor. Well, okay then. I will see uh, the, the executioner in the meantime and you come back for the next episode. I will probably be headless. So, thank you everybody for watching. Come back for the next part. And I'll see you then. Bye bye.